Hi there and welcome to the next step of the Getting Started Guide. So a reminder of the three steps to get started. So the first step was all about configuring and customizing Donify as a really good starting point in your system to enable you to have a really good foundation for getting data into your system. The next part which we're going to look at in this video is all about importing data. So getting your history of data into Donify. The third part we'll look at is looking to the future, so bringing more data into your system in a more integrated and automated way. A reminder, if you need a little bit of extra help, is to head over to Donify Chat, so our community um, of Donify users, to ask tips and tricks for how they got on with importing their data. The knowledge base has got a lot of articles on if you get stuck on data importing do you head there and our support team are always on hand to help as well so do, do raise a ticket with them. If you do need some extra help then our onboarding service or partners can help you to get your data into Donify whether it's doing some data cleansing or actually you just think you want a, a bit of an outside eye to help look over your data before you import it and get some advice then um, our onboarding service or partners can help if you've got the budget set aside for that. Okay, so when you're importing your data, the file uploader is your friend. So to find the file uploader, go to data management and file upload. We'd highly recommend using the data preparation template, um, which is this, this thing here. So under data management, file upload, data preparation template, we'd highly recommend you using that rather than just dragging and dropping files because it will just help you to, to not miss anything. Also, because of all that hard work you did on the configuration, you'll need to click update template and that will give you a blueprint of your database. So it's a spreadsheet with all everything that you've set up in the first stage um, will all be now in this spreadsheet so that when you pop your data in there, it will all go into the right place in Donify. So you'll just need to hit the download button and then you you will get a and you will get a spreadsheet which will have a lot of tabs so don't be overwhelmed it's just to make sure that you've got all your data ready to go um the the idea is that first of all you upload your constituents so this will have a different tab for each of your constituent types um if you've set them up properly then they should should come out in this way to get you um up and running just some tips for using the uploader is to populate as many tabs as you can with as much data as possible. Um, you'll want to import your constituents first, so all of these tabs will need to be imported first, so that you've got a good basis for then importing your, um, your history. When you import constituents, it's a really good idea to add something called an external key. So this could be, if you're using an, a database, it could be um, an, an ID from the old database system, or it could be an ID from your spreadsheet that you've got, or just um, use a series of numbers if you want to, to have an external key on, on there. The reason why this is really helpful is that when you're then um, uploading your activities and donations data, recurring payment instructions, gift aid declarations, so all of your data that's going to go onto your timeline, then you can use that external key to make sure that it's going to exactly the right person. So it's not trying to map on email address, phone number, everything like that. The external key um, is using that, that unique identifier for that constituent. So it's a really good idea to use, use an external key if you can. Um, when you're actually uploading the data, so we've given it to you in, in one big line, but you'll just need to save the, the relevant ones that you've populated as separate Excel workbooks before you upload them into Donify. You don't, need, you don't do it as a CSV, just save each of your, your tabs as separate ones and drag and drop it into here. Um, again, with your constituents first and then your um, data that's going to go on your timeline. Just a little tip not to change the tab names from the one provided in the template or not to reformat data in the template. So don't change the column names or the tab names um, just because then it will recognize it as the template and be it, enable you to upload it really easily um, rather than coming across any problems. And also make sure everything is in there as values. So not configured as sort of pounds or currencies or, um, or, or numbers, but just as values in the system. So if you're pasting data in, then just paste it as values into the into the document here. 
Make sure there's no password protection or the upload will fail because it won't be able to access the data as well. So just some tips when you're uploading. Some frequently asked questions. So if you're uploading it um, and your spreadsheet has errors, you'll be able to download it and see all those errors. Um, so you'll be, you'll be able to get this download here and it will show you any problems. When you download on the left hand side, it will show you what the errors are and then highlight the right field within here. So have a look around and it will highlight for you the, the fields that the upload is having a problem with. So you can use that to check what's going wrong, amend it and then re-upload it. If you get stuck, a reminder of the different services, so Donify Chats, the support team, and if you're really stuck and have some budget to help, then the onboarding service or partners can help you as well. How much history is a really great question. Um, essentially, it's, it's up to you. So it depends on your, your privacy policies, how long you keep data for. It's also just a really good chance to have a bit of a clear out. So if there is lots of data that you want to get rid of, um, you know, people who you're not likely to engage with going forward, there might not be much point in uploading them into Donify at this stage. Um, you might just want to sort of keep them on one side for reporting for, for reporting at a later stage. Um, but yeah, it's... it's um, a, a bit of an art for how much history you should import. So just have a think about it in terms of your own processes and policies as well. Okay, so best of luck with the import. Um, the next stage that we'll go on to is integrations. So um, we're almost there, ready to get you up and running with Donify. So we'll have all your, your foundation laid, the, your history imported, and then we'll look at data getting in moving forward. Thanks again for choosing Donify and see you at the next stage.